Heading now to Papua New Guinea. In the Chamber of the National Parliament lays the country's Grand Chief Michael Thomas Sumare. Citizens gather here to mourn, pay tribute, and console their grief as they honor his invaluable contributions to the nation. More details in this report. As the Grand Chief Michael Sumare marched to his final resting place in Wiwak, Papua New Guineans in Port Moresby pays respect at the National Parliament House. Their hearts grieve, but their biggest consolation is that this man fought for Papua New Guinea's independence. Students from various schools were gathered to remember the fond memories, contributions, and works of the founding father of Papua New Guinea. They remembered a man whose compassion and greatness they cannot master in two words. After almost two weeks of having house cry, a term used in attending a wake, insurgent guys Waigani, mourners and followers of Sir Somare, had a convoy from the funeral home in Erima going to the chamber of the National Parliament House to lie in state. In the early morning, the Guard of Honor, the Chief Justice, the members of the Parliament and other law enforcers assembled in the Parliament House. High-ranking officials, dignitaries, members of the judiciary, heads of foreign diplomatic missions arrived one by one to demonstrate their love and farewell to the Grand Chief. Tributes from all of the children in Papua New Guinea were heard and everyone had a story to share about the mournful event. Uh, right at this very moment, we are in front of uh, the National Parliament House of Papua New Guinea. Uh, it's been an honor to have our uh, pra former Prime Minister and the founder of this country. Uh, today will be the Parliament session has been recalled so that they will be kept this Casket will be kept in the parliament for five hours. Then a military uh, and all other uh, dif defense force, police force, CIS personnel will do a uh, guard of honor to take the casket back to the uh, funeral home for further processing for tomorrow and the departure of the body. But otherwise, this morning was a wonderful morning for the former prime minister and ship, uh, uh, grand ship of this country, the founder of this country to uh, actually lay the casket in the parliament house. Oh, his government was so wonderful. He has been four time in parliament and he's been doing a lot for this country to become independent without blood shed or whatsoever. For me, my condolences to his uh, immediate family, the people of Karao, Murik and East Ipik province where I've been serving at Moen Barracks for over uh, 15 years. And uh, I knew him there almost about 20 years. And uh, it's been my 25 years of service to the Papua New Guinea Defense Force at the rank of sergeant, and I've witnessed his uh, death at this moment here at the Parliament House. Sir Somaris' family was touched by the affections shown by the Papua New Guineans. The sympathy extended to them was tremendously overwhelming. The great tribute paid to him by so many citizens of this country is proof that his governance was with absolute distinction. He is known for his fabulous advices, jobs, and advocacies that the people of this land hold on to dearly. All the lessons taught by the Grand Chief Michael Thomas Somare will be kept firmly in the hearts of the Papua New Guineans long after his passing. Reporting from Port Moresby, this is Echo Hortaleza Quinola, Eagle News, we live in interesting times. Indeed, Sir Michael has an outstanding place in the history of Papua New Guinea. Now back in Australia. Elevating one cinematic experience, Sydney is hosting a floating cinema on the waters, dubbed Moving Boat. 
This is a limited event that places you on a boat with unique views of the city. Our correspondent Samantha DeMillo will share more on this enticing event. Samantha? Watching a movie in a boat, Sydney is taking the same experience to the next level with fantastic views of the harbour, rain, hail or shine. Located in Darling Harbour, the grand 1,000 square metre floating platform will feature 40 rowboats for hire and 65 summer lounge beds. The complete 4K 15 metre screen and the 30 surround speakers will be creating an immersive and entertaining show for all those in attendance. To access and experience moving boat, there are four categories. Either 1. Hire a boat. 2. Queen size day beds on floating pontoons. 3. Inside the star VIP area. Or 4. Bring your own boat area. Park and watch. The moving boat experience will run until the 21st of March. So Sydney Siders, experience this while it lasts. Reporting from Sydney, Australia, this is Samantha Domingo, Eagle News, we live in interesting times. Thank you, Samantha. This event is sure to be enjoyed by avid fans of the cinema world.